Good evening, everyone, and thank you for the opportunity to provide comments in person and um, electronically. Um, my name is Priscilla De La Cruz, and I am testifying on behalf of People's Power and Light. As a pro-consumer and pro-environment nonprofit organization, we at People's Power and Light encourage the Commission to reject National Grid's request for approval of a gas capacity contract and cost recovery. The charge would be an unprecedented charge on monthly electric bills. Um, why should consumers take on the long-term risk of a new unnecessary natural gas pipeline? The pipeline tax conflicts with the widespread sustainability efforts that the ocean state is already implementing across sectors and with the greenhouse gas emission reduction targets that are set by the 2014 Brazilian Rhode Island Act. This proposal is an outdated approach, knowing that consumers and that the clean energy industry has moved forward. As the ocean state, we are especially vulnerable, as you may know, to the impacts of climate change. Building additional natural gas infrastructure sets us back in the wrong direction and will only serve to increase polluting emissions. While prices for out-of-state natural gas remain volatile, the cost for renewable energy, energy efficiency, storage, demand response, LNG, and oil have all came down dramatically in recent years. When more consumers learn that they would be on the hook for pipeline expenses, we can all expect to hear more voices of opposition. We must protect electric consumers from being charged for a natural gas pipeline. Thank you very much once again for your time. Um, I do have written comments with more details on hand. Um, People's Power and Light does business in the state of Massachusetts as Mass Energy Consumers Alliance, where we're working with various stakeholder groups and we're actively collecting data on the acquisition that the public has for additional natural gas pipeline capacity. Um, and we also took part in um, voicing and doing outreach on the recent study that the Attorney General's office in Massachusetts had published stating that New England does not need additional natural gas pipeline. Instead, we should look at the resources that we have on hand to meet capacity needs and demand. Um, I, I can provide you with written comments or we can email them electronically as you wish. <coughs> Thank you, one second. Oh, for the record, um, Priscilla Delacruz. Thank you. You're welcome. 